Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niara Alexis and like the title says today, I'm gonna be sharing with you my go-to signature hairstyle. It's fall time. That means the silk presses are back and I love a loose wave. So I'm gonna show you how I get that today. I just wanna say, y'all are gonna be seeing a lot more hair content from me. I've noticed that you guys really engage like the hair content so i'm gonna keep it coming okay so if there's anything specific that you would like to see leave a comment down below before i get into the actual tutorial so that should pop up somewhere here on the screen if you just don't want to hear me talk um i am going to answer some frequently asked questions i get about this hairstyle one being how often do i put heat on my hair to keep it up i put heat on my hair once a week after that, I don't put any other heat on my hair until I wash it again. I use pin curls at night to keep my hair up. Um, I will link a video down below where I have done a tutorial showing you guys how I do pin curls. And then the other question I get a lot is how do I maintain it throughout the week um, and keep it like flowy and bouncy? There's a, the short answer is I don't. Like your hair is going to get stiffer as the days go on, as the more oils like are produced in your head, like that's just gonna happen. But I think the key to this style is just using very lightweight products. So to start our tutorial, um, you'll see here, this is freshly washed straightened hair. When I'm flat ironing my hair, I usually take like little small pieces like this big and I'm flat ironing it. When it's time to curl, rude. <laughs> when it's time to curl my hair, I take much bigger chunks. There's no need to like do it in like such small sections. This is the flat iron that I'm using. This is the GHD Platinum Plus. It is pricey, but I do enjoy it for what it does. I'll have this link down below along with a full review of this flat iron too. So you know how when you flat iron your hair, you're just holding it going straight down. I feel like one thing that people get really hung up on is how they hold the flat iron. I be seeing y'all doing gymnastics in here. It ain't that difficult, sis. The same way that you hold your flat iron when you're just like pressing your hair straight down, hold it the same way, except for you're not going to turn your hand to be like, what is this, horizontal? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're not gonna turn your hand to be horizontal. You're gonna keep it up vertically, okay? In between the flat iron, twist that wrist out to make a curl, pull it through, pull, pull, pull. This is a key part. You need to let your curls cool in your hand. Um, if you just let them hang and cool, your curl is gonna drop a lot faster. So I'm gonna take another chunk of hair, take our flat iron, remember, hold it straight up and down, twist your hand around to make a curl, and just pull it through. Now, once you get the curl all intact, let it cool in your hand. Now, this piece, this, you might hear some people refer to this piece as the money piece. This is like very important. Like this is, the, this is the key to the style. This is the key to that like little come down. I don't start curling until further down. Okay. And now we're gonna let it cool. So you see how like this curl I kind of like let it lay straight. So we're done with our first section. We cannot just leave this here. It's gonna have fallen by the time I get around here. This is the Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Super Clean Spray. This is a hairspray that's touchable. It's not gonna make your hair crunchy, hard, nothing. I promise you, because I don't like crunchy, hard, nothing. So I take it and I... I spray it generously. Make sure I'm getting the curls and everything. Okay. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some pins. These are just like those little silver pins. I'm gonna separate this section into two. No combing. I repeat, no comb. You're not gonna comb your hair for nothing. Act like Jesus said, don't comb. You can never use combs. Some of y'all went past the test, but don't comb your hair, okay? It's gonna comb your curls out. Just finger comb it. All this hair in my mouth. You see how this curl is like curling right here? That's where I need to pin it because I want to hold that curl. So I'm gonna pin this right here. Boom. I have this hair that I left out down here. This curl wave kind of matches up with this. So I'm just gonna grab these two together. 
so I pinned that up and I just have like this little piece down here and I just I don't want anything to get left out so I'm gonna now I'm just gonna do that all around my head Now that our hair is all pinned back, you can let this sit for however long you want to. The longer you let it sit like this, the more your curls are gonna hold. So I would say if you're trying to do your hair like this for like an event, um, I would curl my hair in the morning of that event or just like a couple hours before that event and just let it sit like this until you're ready to do whatever you're doing. So, um, while my hair is still sitting up in these pins, I'm gonna spray it with this Verb Dry or Ghost Dry Oil. I love it. This adds a lot of nice shine to your hair too. So I'm gonna start taking my pins out, but I start on the side that I started curling on. So I'm not, I don't wanna take these out too soon because I just curled them. I wanna give them some time to sit just like this had time to sit, you know? And before I take a, a brush to it, I'm gonna just use my fingers. Okay, like this, <laughs> that's looking good. Okay, and so now I'm gonna take this side out. And that is it. That's how I get this hairstyle. A little bit more in-depth tutorial for you guys. Cause I see y'all are really liking the hair content. So I wanna give you more of it when I can. So I hope this was helpful. All the products that I use in this video, I will make sure to link them down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.